welcome back to another video and today I am doing my October wrap up. It is currently October 3rd so it's kind of a little bit late but I'm lazy. Anyway, so I'm just going to get into the books that I read this month. So the first book that I ended up, I think I finished the first few days of uh, October was Days of Blood and Starlight by Lady Taylor. It's the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, so I only have one book to go at this point. Like, I don't know how I completely feel about this series. I did give this a 4 out of 5 stars. The first book I was blown away by, but the second book I was just like, I don't feel like reading this anymore. <laughs> but I just kept going, and then it got better, but I just, you know, like, I feel like I was starting to enter, like, a little bit of a reading slump, but... I did not because I read a lot of books this month. The uh, next book that I read was a book that I was waiting to read for a long time because I wanted to read it during the month of October because Halloween is in October. It's spooky month. Um, and I thought this book was going to be kind of spooky and kind of like creepy crawly. So I figured I'd wait and now I kind of wish I didn't wait because now I want to read the rest of the series. Um, but that is Stalking Jack Ripper by Carrie Montes. Gallo? Malascalto? I, I don't know how to say her name. This book, I loved it. Like, it was so good. I kind of did kind of guess who Jack the Ripper was because they do solve Jack the Ripper, even though in real life Jack the Ripper was never caught, never found. I did kind of guess who Jack the Ripper was, and for that I was kind of disappointed, but like, I. I loved our main character, Audrey. She was my favorite person ever. Now I want to read um, Hunting Prince Dracula and Escaping from Houdini and the next uh, book, which is the last book, the fourth book. I don't know if she doesn't have a name for it yet. She's currently still writing it. Um, but this book was so, so good. I gave it five stars. I highly recommend you pick it up if you haven't already. I know I'm kind of late to the game on this, but it was just so good and I just I want wanted to like keep I want to reread this and like with fresh eyes again and just kind of like cry because it was so good all right the next book that I read was I actually finished a trilogy this time so we're we're good and this one I've been waiting to read for a long time um I don't know why I didn't read it but it happened so it's a beloved series by everyone I read the first two books and I loved them I just did, never got to the third book. I owned the third book for a long time, just never read it. But that's Library of Souls by Ransom Rig, the third book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. I, not gonna lie, was getting into a reading slump with this book, and I don't know why. I don't know. I just wanted to, like, persevere. I loved it. I did. It's just, like, I felt like... I, don't know, I was on vacation at this time too when I was reading this, so I was like, I don't want to read, I just want to hang out, I want to sleep, but this kind of is where they're like, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, this does spoil some stuff. Um, I did give this book five stars though, because it was a good ending. Um, now I'm prepared to read Map of Days, but like, I kind of don't want to get it yet, because it just came out, first of all, and I kind of want all of my paperbacks to match, and I'm that snob. But, like, at the same time, like, I want to pick it up soon. The next book that I actually listened to on audio was, um, a book that I was not expecting to pick up, and not expecting to like as much as I did. And that is, uh, Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Mondvosky? Think I'm saying that right? So this follows four friends who are major fangirls of this band called they're called the Rupert's kind of like a spin on one direction basically um and they all have their specialty of the boy that they prefer and so it kind of starts off with them kidnapping a boy band member and uh there was some cringy writing I could I could attest to that um but, like, I don't know, I, I was expecting our main character to be, like, one of those typical fangirls who didn't want to let the, um, the boy band member go, but she, she was very, like, very different, and it kind of played out like a fanfiction in my head, 
um, when I was listening to it and um, hearing it. Uh, because it did sound like something I've read in the past. Like, I'm not afraid to admit that I've read fanfiction. Especially One Direction fanfiction because I used to be a fan back in the day. Um, it sounded like one of those, but also at the same time, like, it sounded like... It, it went places that you didn't think it was going to go. And, boy, it went crazy. So, I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I in between three and a half and four just because it had cringy rating but also there was a lot of plot twists that I was not expecting that were good plot twists so I did enjoy those. And the last book that I just finished the other day actually I finished the quartet guys and you could probably guess which quartet that was because I've been waiting for a long time. The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. And this is the fourth book in the Raven Cycles Quartet. And I was not... Like, I... <laughs> my ship got together in this book. Like, my life is complete. Um, now I'm all caught up for when she does in the uh, Ronin series. Which, Ronin's my favorite character. Alan's my favorite character. This is such a good book. I'm still giving it a four stars. Because... This is kind of a four-star series to me just because every time I read one of her books or one of these books in particular, um, I get a reading slump. Don't know why. Don't know how. Uh, but this one, I persevered. I actually did my reading vlog to that and I'll link that somewhere um, because I, I was reading this. I ended up not finishing it during the reading vlog, but I ended up finishing it like shortly afterwards so it counts. <laughs> Uh, I still had some books on my TBR that I didn't read for October, so hopefully I get to them soon-ish. Um, along with a lot of the books that I got when I was in Colorado, which if you haven't seen that that video, I'll link that too somewhere-ish. So, that's my wrap-up for October. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Olivia, you're on Bookish Brookish Science Channel, and I hope to see you soon with another video. Bye!